First, though, our great truck chase through the suburbs. We exposed Chad Johan for illegal rubbish dumping that landed him in court. But when Chad spotted us, he took off in a truck that wasn't his. Here's how our crew helped police track him down. We're just acting on information that this is stolen trucks. It's stolen. Crunch time. Whatever you say, do will be recorded. And maybe you're Alleged serial illegal rubbish dumper Chad Johan facing the music. This guy's a serial offender. He's laughing at the police. He's laughing at the court system. He's laughing at the community. He needs to be locked up. There's no other way to stop this bloke. Are you retarded? Who goes to jail for speaking on someone? It's called assault. Let's rewind to the start of a very bad day in the life of one Chad Johan. Morning, Chad. It all began when Chad turned up at Sutherland Court to face a charge of assaulting the regional illegal dumping inspector, Rick Giardini. What should happen to the people who are doing this? Oh, we'd like to see them get jail. Anything to say, mate? This is the alleged spitting incident caught on dash cam. After pleading not guilty in court, Chad was confronted by Inspector Giardini outside and slapped with court attendance notices for more rubbish dumping. Chad seemed to take it in his stride, but was none too impressed to see our cameras. Which is a civil matter. Nothing civil about that. Wait a minute, didn't he tell the court he was pleading not guilty? Don't you know that that is an offence though, Chad? Clearly, we're not seeing eye to eye. You don't know shit, mate. You don't know shit. Is that right? I'm not going to jail for spitting on someone, man. I'll spit on your salt. You're going to spit on me. Have you ever heard of anyone going to jail for spitting on somebody? Have yes. you ever heard of that? Yeah. Oh, idiot. Oh, idiots. Oh, morons. Have a nice day, Chad. Oh, really, you sucker? It's not the first time I've copped a mouthful of Chad's vile language. Mate, I've got something to do. No, I've got something to do. I'm asking you about all this rubbish that you're legally dumping. I'm going to have... I don't dump anything, mate. I'm on... Lucas Heights. I'm on... I'm going to have some... Smoke some weed. Off, boys. A few months ago, we caught Chad's former partner in crime, Kieran Kelly Payne, red-handed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You picked up the rubbish here this morning. Dumping yeah, no, household rubbish in pristine bushland in Sydney South. Chad was none too happy oh, to be confronted oh, by the truth. Nice talking to you. Just go home. Uh, I'm going to call the cops for harassment. Right now, I'm having an ABO taken out against you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Simon Bowden. I'm going to call the cops. Current right affair. Please. They're going to come around and arrest you anyway for smoking weed. What are you talking about? No, they're not. Yeah, they will. Call them then. It was an elaborate sting luring Chad's one-time partner to collect our rubbish, which we then found dumped in bushland our rubbish. at Lucas Heights. I'm Chad Johan. Go f*** your mum, go f*** your mum's dog, go f*** your dog's dog, go f*** your mum's sister. These two low-life mongrels are just taking their rubbish and dumping them anywhere and everywhere. Canterbury and Bankstown Mayor not... Cal Asfor has led the charge against illegal dumpers. Oh, they should be locked up, Simon. The book should be thrown at these people. I mean, they're dirty dumpers that deserve to be locked up. You have dumped it out of Lucas Heights. As a result of our story, council tells us there have been no more illegal dumps at that site. And since he's been flushed out, we haven't had any dumping in the city, which is fantastic. I only hope he hasn't dumped anywhere else in Sydney. This guy is a grub of the worst kind. Back to Chad's court appearance. His world seemed to be imploding. What about that truck you're driving, Johan? When are you going to hand that back to the guy that actually owns it? Storming off, Chad added littering to his repertoire. And that's when this story took a bizarre twist. You see, Chad climbed into the cabin of a truck he doesn't own. Truth be known, he rented it some months back, made a single rental payment and has allegedly hung on to it since. Today, the owners were waiting to take back what's rightfully theirs. Problem was, the elusive Chad was too fleet-footed and was gone before they got a chance to confront him. What followed was a cat-and-mouse game across southern and western Sydney. That is, until we spotted the fugitive truck. We're heading west on the M4. Calling in the regional illegal dumping inspectors. Is he taking the M7? 
No, he's not. He's not. He's heading straight away, right in his tail now. We're... They dialed in police via triple zero. Walgrove Road exit. Walgrove Road. He's taken. He's going to be going right. Police cars flash by. Okay, you got him. You got him. You Stopping got him. the Pantech as the police helicopter provided air cover. It was time for Chad to answer some hard questions from police. Let me, let me tell you why we stopped you. So we stopped you because it shows the truck stolen. Do you understand that? Ordered out of the cabin, Chad was frisked. We're just acting on information that this is a stolen truck. Before he was moved off the roadway to read him his rights. You don't have to say, do anything if you don't want to. Whatever you say, do will be recorded and maybe you just let so you say the contract. Yeah, show me the contract. Chad maintains the truck dispute is civil and he's happy to let the owners repossess it. In fact, speaking with the police officers, Chad was, well, polite, even meek and mild, more than cooperative. I haven't broken any laws. I mean, if you want to repossess the truck, it's a repossession matter. Stolen, not returned, it doesn't really matter. It's not his truck. Well, we're here on the side of the M4 motorway and police are now questioning Chad Johan to determine if in fact that truck is stolen. The owners of the truck are on their way. When they turn up, they're camera shy, but they tell me Chad rented the truck in June and made one payment. They've been looking for their truck since. So Chad was given the chance to remove his meagre belongings before being sent on his way on foot. He cut a lonely figure wandering off down the road. How are you going to get home, Chad? Just going to get a new truck, boys. Get a new truck? Are you going to return that one and pay for it? As he negotiated the traffic, I urged caution. Don't get run over. He can run, but he can't hide. And I'm not going to stop until he can uh, either pay his fines or until he's locked up behind bars. Chad should maybe catch a taxi to his next court appearance in November.